right, hello everybody. This is Keisha Arsenault here. I'm here to help you um, easily make your labels from your Google Sheet for your Chromebook inventory. I'm looking at here um, an example of the inventory sheet that you were provided last year um, and that our new schools will be provided this year. I know that you guys are looking forward to getting your asset manager as soon as possible, but in the meantime, this is what we'll be working from. And so I have an example of a Chromebook inventory sheet here. And um, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how you can easily, um, easily create labels from this sheet. So I'm going to go to File, New, and Document. Once I'm in this Google document, I'm going to go to Add-ons. And I'm going to go to Get Add-ons. Once this pop-up opens, I'm going to search for Avery. Now, if you've already installed this, of course, you won't have to, but you're looking for the Avery Label Merch. I've already installed mine, so I don't have to install it. Mine says Manage, but if yours does not say Manage, it means that you need to install it. When you do install it, um, Make sure that you give it the permissions that it asks for. It's going to give you like a list and you just say, yes, you do have permission and then you'll be ready to go. So I'm going to click on add-ons now that I have my Avery label maker and I'm going to say new merge. When I do this, it's going to give me two options. I can either make address labels or name badges. I want to go with name badges since I'm labeling the Chromebooks with the students names. Right here, you have the option to choose from several different um, labels, um, Avery product labels. It really, it really does not matter which one you choose. It's really your preference. Um, I'm going to go with just the first one. Just make sure that this is the product code here for that Avery product. So whatever you choose, make sure you buy, you purchase the correct labels for that. So I'm going to select that first one. And then it's going to prompt me to choose um, the appropriate spreadsheet. And here's mine right here. Um, it's the example Chromebook inventory. If yours doesn't pop up at the very top, you can easily type in your school name here and hit the search button. And it will um, bring up um, any Google Sheets that have your school name in it. And so I'm going to go ahead and select since I found the Google Sheet that I want it to pull data from. And once I've done that, it's going to give me um, this Avery Label Merge menu over here on the right. So it's telling me the column header names, which if I go back to my example Chromebook um, inventory, you can see here, here's my um, headers, and it's the same as what they're offering me over here. So really at this point, I'm, I'm going to show you an example of what you might choose, but you're welcome to choose whatever works best for your school. I'm going to go with um, student's last name. So I'm going to click in. Um, this is the template for the label right here. I'm going to click there, and then I'm going to click on student's last name. All right, now that I have the student's last name, I'm going to hit comma and a space, and I'm going to put the first name, and then I'm going to hit the space bar and a middle name. I'm going to hit enter a couple times, and I think that I'm going to decide that I want the student ID number on mine as well. Now, you don't have to do this. It's just up to you, but I'm going to put the student ID number on mine right there. And then I also want my students to know the cart that their Chromebook belongs to. I want them to know the slot that their Chromebook is supposed to go into. And also, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and put the serial number on here. Um, again, you should do whatever design or whatever information that works best for your school. You can also even like type it will let you type in this area. So if you need to label this with your school name, you can certainly put your school name in there as well. So 
right here I'm just going to verify that um, the product that I chose, the spreadsheet that it's pulling from, um, the, the rows that it's pulling from, so right now it's pulling rows 2 to 240, so I'm going to make sure that yes, it's row 2 all the way down to 240, so it is pulling all of my students, so that's good. And if I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and merge. Once you press merge, depending on how many students or how many rows are in that um, inventory sheet, it may take, you know, just a couple seconds to a couple minutes for it to create that, that merge. And so once it creates the merge, it lets you know that there is a document that's ready for you. Um, it says done merging, open your document to review the results in print. It also reminds you, and this is important, to print on plain paper first to check the print alignment on your product. So rather than wasting any labels, do a test print and match it up to your label sheet and make sure it's printing properly. I'm gonna go ahead and hit open. And when I hit open, it actually creates a new Google Sheet for me. It named this Google Sheet um, the name of the product and their, and their um, product number, so I would remember that. And it has populated um, this document for me. Now you'll see I chose to add student middle names, but some of the students didn't actually have a middle name. Like if I go back, um, none of mine actually um, had a middle name. So you'll need to look at your sheet and see whether or not it had a middle name. Because mine didn't have a middle name, you see I've got this like weird code here. So I'd probably want to go back and remake my um, label. But you see it would have the school name, serial number, cart and slot, the student ID and the student name. Um, and it's actually a pretty easy process. And um, I hope that this will be helpful for all of our schools. I will remind you that this year, putting labels on the student devices was not required by um, the technology team. It's not required. However, we are finding that most of our schools find that the Chromebooks um, they feel that it will be better managed if the Chromebooks are labeled with the student names, and so that's perfectly fine. We're providing you with the um, support that you need to make that happen. Um, in addition to that, we do have a couple of best practices in relation to the labels. The labels should really be put on top of the device rather than on the bottom of the device. The bottom of the device puts off a fair amount of heat and thus um, it causes those stickers to peel easier. So if you'll put it on the top of the device, it would be best. Also, we find that many of our schools have used a label cover, I believe is what it's called, to just kind of like add an extra layer of protection on top of that sticker. Um, librarians will be familiar with that kind of product as well. And so just make sure to save yourself some extra legwork in the future um, from having to relabel all of these devices once stickers fall off, put them on the top and add that extra layer of protection. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you need any support in any way, just let our team know. We're happy to help.